Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 16, 2021. If you like the support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. A link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, it did rally a bit on Friday session, not significantly, uh, but there's still quite a lot of room to the upside. We could be heading towards 4,500. That should be where we'll find massive resistance and also where the RSI probably will be significantly over uh, bought at that point. MACD is bullish, or stochastic is bullish. So running up towards uh, 4,500, that is kind of where I expect this to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or prob probably in best case scenario to the bottom of the bullish band at 4,333. But all of those have been buying opportunities in the past. So buying the dips is kind of what works here and uh, that's what I'm looking for. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did pull back um, at the end of the session on Friday. So very interesting. It did rally quite significantly more than the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones uh, on, on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and on Thursday session. And then on Friday session, it basically pulled back. So this may well be what we are going to see with the S&P 500, probably also in the, in the Nasdaq in this coming week, where we'll see this a pullback towards the middle or the, you know, to the 50 moving average, or best case scenario, down towards the bottom of the bullish band at the at 34K. So if you look at MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. That is an indication of the bearishness, and the RSI is technically flat. It's not significantly high, and... Uh, we got very close to the top of, the, of this range and to the all-time high. So um, people started selling this. And usually when this occurs, it takes a few days until it basically uh, drops towards the middle or to the very bottom of the range. So let's look at the, the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ continues to rally. It did fall towards the, the middle of the bullish band and then found support massive support as it has been doing for a very long time now so at this moment it looks like the top of the of range here 15,273 uh, should be resistant uh, breaking above here that opens the door 15,500 MACD is still bearish stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well breaking below the 20 exponential Opens the door to the 50 moving average down here at the 14,630. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX uh, went to an all-time high on Friday session and then pulled back. Kind of expect this to uh, to uh, start pulling back towards uh, support down here at roughly 15,600, uh, give or take. Dropping below here, that could open the door back towards the 15,200. Um, range but at the moment kind of it is overstretched in the bullish band it is uh, on the edge of being over overbought in the RSI but usually when we see something like this we it tends to go sideways or it tends to completely collapse towards the middle of the bullish band or toward the bottom of the bullish band which is roughly 15,233 at this current stage MACD is uh, is bullish R and the stochastic is bearish at this point 16,000 is also very symbolic uh, number so at this point pullbacks uh, are kind of expected so let's look at the UK 100 so UK 100 uh, continues to increase it is now it is far far away from where it was uh, prior to the coronavirus it has uh, compared to uh, most of the other indices that are on, the, on this list it has struggled to get back towards uh, uh, the pre-pandemic uh, levels. So at the moment, we're at 7,210. And uh, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 7,067. Breaking below here, that could open the door very low towards 6,872. MACD is bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, it has crossed the signal line, and the RSI is uh, flat at this point at a 64. So we did top, uh, hit the top of the bullish band, uh, but this has been an area which uh, where we have basically 
dropped significantly in the past. So it'll be interesting to see what happens on Monday. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 is looking uh, terrible, to be very honest. It is struggling at a certain point, and that is basically the middle of the bullish band. We see right here, rallies, breaks down. It technically rallies, breaks down, rallies, breaks down, and then falls apart here. Now it had rallied yet again towards the top of the, uh, the middle of the bullish band, and then got rejected yet again. So if we can't get through this, uh, the 20 simple moving average, then it's very likely that this is going to go back towards these previous lows. The question is whether or not we make a double bottom here and then go higher, or we just slice through this bottom here and go significantly lower. We're going to have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 300 moving average. We did have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 here, which should, um, should mean that in the long run, in the several months ahead, we're going to see this market go lower. Doesn't mean that we won't have rallies, just means that this market is going to go significantly lower. And considering how how the Chinese market is at the moment, it is not surprising that this is the reaction of the market. Um, optimism has just been completely pulled out of the uh, has been pulled out of this market. So MACD is a bullish, stochastic is still bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.